Today we're talking with one of the all-time great leaders in Northern Michigan University athletics history, Sten Feldheim. Sten, pleasure to have you on the line right now. Oh, thanks for having me. Now, you've decided to retire here after 35 years at NMU. In that time, you've coached the Nordic ski teams and even had some stints leading the cross-country program. Let's start with just your thoughts. I mean, looking back on three and a half decades of setting standards and excellence here in Marquette. Well, I mean, it's it's been a, an awesome experience for myself and my family. And... Um, yeah, it's something that uh, I had the pleasure of doing all these years and felt fortunate to to have this position and this job and coaching uh, men's and women's running. And on occasion, uh, I was uh, the head of the track program trying to get that, you know, the wheels back on that program and rolling again and, and men's and women's skiing. So uh, it's been challenging and exciting, and it's been a... Uh, it's been a great ride. Over 20 men's regional champions, over 20 women's regional championships, over 100 All-Americans, a few national titles sprinkled in there as well. And, you know, one of the things that I always thought was interesting, when we've talked in the past on the NMU Coaches Show here in Marquette, uh, you've mentioned a large part of the success of your student-athletes goes back to this philosophy of having a, a balanced life. What does that mean for you? Correct. Well... Well, what it means is um, not putting all your eggs in one basket, I guess. Uh, To balance your academics and athletics is not always easy. Um, At at times, you have to back off on the athletics a little and focus on the academics, but it's, it's, uh, it's a good formula. Um, And you also have to remember you have friends and family. You have to balance all that. And uh, I felt like all these years that that was probably the most important thing was to introduce our freshmen to trying to balance everything. And in order to do that, they they needed to communicate really well, which was always number one on our team rules was um, communicating, communicating really well with your coaches, but also your teammates. And uh, we we have a little phrase, you know, first you form an attitude and then it forms you a nice little saying and if they develop a good attitude about getting their schoolwork done and that that's important and getting the training done and that's important and paying attention to their personal lives with their friends and family that's important so the communication part is really a key to unlock everything because as young adults you know they're young they're many of them the freshmen first time away from home things might get overwhelming and and basically, you know, as coaches, I know the whole coaching staff at Northern Michigan pretty well. And, and I mean, that's what we do. We, we mentor and we're kind of surrogate parents in a way. And they got to feel comfortable with expressing their opinion to us and with, with helping shape the program. Um, everybody matters type of, type of attitude that we have on the team. And everybody counts, whether you're the slowest skier or fastest skier. And the work ethic, you know, so... They have good work ethic. Their dreams can come true. And so, you know, we look at this in the context of the student athlete, but so many folks, you know, look to sports teams or individual athletes as kind of examples or role models for themselves when it comes to exactly those things that you talk about, those athletes and the dedication, but Mm -hmm. the balance that they have. And I mean, also lessons as simple in life as, you know, knowing how to win and then also how to take things away from losses as well, right? Exactly. And uh, that's that's really, really important. Um, I try to remind our athletes of that many, many times is that, you know, when they have a good competition, you know, they can, they can stand there with their hands in the air. That's great. They can take credit for it. That's great. But when they have a bad day, I always told them, like, I'll, I'll take 50% or more of your bad day. Just let's talk about it. You know, it's history. So we had a 20-minute rule. If you had a bad day, you had 20 minutes to kind of uh, disappear and do what you needed to do, whether it was, you know, kick a little bark off a tree or be upset with yourself. But once you're back in the in the ring with the athletes or back in our, our little group, then and it's time to focus on the next event. And uh, they always knew they could come and talk to me about why they had a bad day later on, you know, in the evening and 
or in the hotel lobby or wherever. But I think they need to know that as human beings, we're going to have, we're going to make mistakes. And it's, and that's what you learn from. So you got, you got to learn from your mistakes. And we feel like we're, we're more teachers on the, the, the ins and outs of athletics, whether it's just training or competing or preparation or nutrition or lifestyle, you know, that's, that's what we do. And, um, that's, that's been really enjoyable over the years. And I've always felt like, you know, I got, I got a precious cargo I'm hauling around and vans or buses or whatever we're using that they're, they're, they're someone's children. And, um, I always felt in the back of my mind that it was, it's really important to treat them as we treat each other as a family with respect. And that, you know, that recipe has seemed to work all these years. So yeah, it's been wonderful. And you've established such a presence in this community over that time. I mean, what now? Do you plan on sticking around Marquette, heading off into the sunset? What's the next step? Oh, well, you know, um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but yes, I am going to stick around, and I'm going to take a year to try to figure out, you know, uh, what I, what else I might do. But I know for sure, you know, whoever the new coach is or coaches are, um, I'll I'll be there ready to volunteer and um, and do the do the things that we love in coaching. That's interacting with the athletes and working on technique and. It can be some. It can be up to someone else to do the fundraising and the, and the administrative work. But it um, it's been a, it's been a pleasure working at Northern Michigan University and the support that our programs have gotten from our uh, our administrators and our president and our board of trustees has been fabulous. Um, I think I think uh, I, I can't think of. Uh, a better place to to be a coach than here in my sport anyway that we have everything so accessible we've had alumni that have gone on to do great things in this community because they they love this area so much you know where else can you live where you can go fish for salmon two or three blocks from campus and you can put on your skis basically across the street from campus and ski on trails and mountain bike on trails and run on trails and and a lot of that, um, you know, was spurred on by several of our several of our alumni that have stayed here, like John Molmarts and Scott Tuma and Tom and Vicky Asmus, and oh, I could go on and on. And and you know that it's taken a long time. You know, when I look back 35 years ago, we rarely we we had one little stretch of bike path, and and now look at what we have with the Iron Ore Heritage Trail and the South Trails and Marquette is. It's just an incredible place, and as you know, and many people know, you know those South Trails are packed. The parking lot's packed with cars, and we get hundreds of tourists here to bike and ski, and and that's that's wonderful. Why would I ever want to leave? I love it here. That's why I stick to the North Trails. There's usually a little less congestion on them, but <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Stenfeld, I'm everyone, yeah. one of the all-time greats in NMU coaching history and an outstanding member of the Marquette community here. Sten, we wish you the best in retirement. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for the opportunity to talk to you, and I'll see you around. Again, I'm Derek Maselli for the Radio Results Network News.